Hello, my name is Nikki Anthrath, and I'm here with Cliff Bragg, owner of Milk Float. Now, what is Milk Float? Um, historically speaking, a Milk Float, two words, um, is a dairy delivery vehicle that would actually take fresh dairy from a dairy farm into a village, a town, or a marketplace. And they still exist even today in smaller European countries as electric vehicles. And so that's what a Milk Float, two words, is. Milk float, one word, is what this restaurant is. Now, do you have any uh, tips on other people who want to pursue a dream like this? The thing about opening your own business or pursuing anything entrepreneurial is that you need to be the smartest person in the room in regards to the business itself. So there is not enough research, or I should rephrase that, you cannot do too much research into your market, into your finances, into your uh, concept and culture that you want to create for your business. Now, about the pastries, are they all like, like you home, like you made the recipe, like you thought of it all? Now, I didn't. I recruited an executive pastry chef who actually trained under a James Beard Award winner, and she's from Michigan. And I put a recruitment ad out there and was able to recruit this amazing, incredible chef. And she moved to Wichita, Kansas, of all places, and. We make everything from scratch. She creates the recipes and we do seasonal flavors and it's really, um, we collaborate. Like I may have some ideas or um, see some things that are out there on Instagram or other places think, oh, that'd be really cool. What do you think about this? And then we have a collaborative uh, time together when we're creating each season's menu. But then she's ultimately responsible for that. We're a seasonal bakery, and we've basically decided that our seasons are gonna be two months long. And so that's a menu season. And then we um, look, so let's say January, February, which we're in right now. Well, what are flavors that are um, you know, most abundant during this time? Pumpkin spice. <laughs> yeah, pumpkin spice, definitely. We, that would have been like good ones for fall, and we explored that. And so we're looking at, you know, winter berries and what are winter flavors and things along those lines and in that two month season each month of that block will have new items uh, when is the next month that we will have new stuff so we just started a, a new season for january february okay, so. so in february we'll introduce a few new items mm -hmm. but then in march it'll be a completely new menu what's your favorite item right now in the menu you know, we have a breakfast menu and then the rest of the day menu. I did not uh, know the, that. Yeah, so our breakfast menu, we have homemade Pop-Tarts and the brown sugar cinnamon Pop-Tart is my favorite item right now on that. And then we have something called a King's Cake, which is something that is really popular to New Orleans and Mardi Gras, but it's also a Christian celebration dessert and it has a little plastic baby in it that is supposed to represent good fortune. And so we make little individual king cakes and one of 10 has a little plastic baby in it, and if somebody finds that baby, it means good luck, good fortune, and then they get a free coffee or soda here. That's really cool. I like how like you incorporate other places like tradition, so when they get it, like they might ask, oh, why do I have this baby, or like, what is this? And like they learn about just other places and just really educates other people on like different foods and different sure. recipes and like the tradition, which yeah. is really good, which I really think that's really important nowadays. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir, for uh, introducing us to Milk Float. I really, really hope that more uh, students at Durban School come here because I really do think it's a good place for just a group of friends to come over and just hang out because it just has that very cozy vibe, of especially the foods and the drinks. Also a good place to maybe study for, like, projects. Yeah. I think. Well, thanks, sir. Thanks very much. Have a good day. You too. We're going to go fast.